In this video, we're going to talk about dowel pins. Dowel pins are extremely simple pieces of hardware, but at the same time, extraordinarily useful in their myriad of applications. So we're going to start on our favorite hardware site here, McMaster Car, and we're going to type in dowels. Dowel pins or dowels, you can use either term to refer to these. So dowel pins here. Um, so this is more or less, well, this is what a dowel pin looks like. It's just a simple cylinder. And there are some different varieties. You can see on the left side of the screen here, there are spring dowels and tapers and cores and punch. But typically we just use this, this standard one right here. It's really just a cylinder with um, some chamfers on either end, lead-in edges. And there are just hundreds or thousands of different kinds of dowels. Uh, they're, they're produced in mass and they're inexpensive to purchase and they're extremely high tolerance. Uh, by by high, high tolerance, let's take a look at what I mean there. So let's see, 18.8 stainless steel dowel. Let's say we want, I don't know, a quarter inch diameter by an inch long. <clears throat> and so this is 18.8 stainless steel, quarter inch diameter, one inch long. And you can see the diameter tolerance here is 0 to 0.0002 uh, inches. And so what that means is uh, the, the nominal diameter, this quarter inch value right there, that uh, the actual dowel pin diameter, because nothing is ever 100% perfect because we live in the real world where there are manufacturing tolerances that apply to everything, the actual diameter of this dowel pin will be between a quarter of an inch, which is 0.25, uh, 0.25 inches, and uh, uh, two, uh, two tenths, uh, two ten thousandths of an inch. So that's a quarter of an inch up to 0.2502 inches. So the, the actual diameter will be somewhere between 0.2500 inches and 0 0.2502 inches. That's extraordinarily tight tolerance, which is wonderful when you're using it for um, high precision applications. So let's talk about the applications a little bit. When would you use a dowel pin? <clears throat> there are so many different possibilities for dowel pins. One of them that's used very often is for press fitting. You might need to press fit a dowel pin into another part for uh, you know whatever purpose. Maybe it becomes a stop pin. Maybe it becomes something around which another part swivels or pivots, or, or maybe it's used to locate another part. Uh, regardless, dowel pins are very frequently used to, to press fit into a part. And, and recall that a press fit is when you, you place um, a, a part of, uh, an oversized part into an undersized hole. So maybe <clears throat> your hole is 0.2495 inches in diameter, but your dowel pin is 0.2501 inches in diameter. So your dowel pin is just a little bit larger in diameter than the hole is. And in such a case, when you push that dowel in with a lot of force, there's going to be some interference between the hole and the dowel diameter. And that interference is what causes your, your permanent press fit. That dowel uh, will not come out not without a tremendous amount of force anyway. Um, the, the length of the dowel pin, so in this example that we're looking at here, we, had a, we chose a length of one inch, <clears throat> and the length is not uh, something that's very tightly controlled. In fact, if we click on product details, I wonder if it gives us, yeah, it gives us a tolerance of plus or minus 10 thousandths of an inch. So that, that's about um, 20 times the tolerance range than we have for our diameter, which is two tenths of an inch. You might hear the term tenths sometimes, and, and when you hear tenth, that does not re refer to a tenth of an inch. That refers to a, uh, a tenth of a, th of a thousandth of an inch, or, or in other words, one ten thousandth of an inch. And uh, on, on this particular dowel, we have a tolerance of plus two ten thousandths of an inch and minus zero. Um, so a very tight tolerance, and that's why it's often used for press fitting, because you need 
very, very tight tolerances on your parts when you're doing a press fit part. Uh, otherwise, they won't go together correctly or they will be too loose. There's just a very narrow range of possible tolerances both on the part you're press fitting and on the part that accepts that press fit part. Uh, so uh, press fits are a very common popular use. <clears throat> um, they're often used to locate other parts. For example, if you had, well, in, uh, uh, let's let's take a look at some uh, a real world examples that uh, th that we've done here at Pipeline for uh, previous projects, and uh, you'll see what I mean. This is a cycle testing fixture that we designed a few years ago. Uh, the par particulars of how it works is not terribly important, but what is important is how we used dowel pins in this assembly. So I'm going to zoom in here. This, uh, this ramp right here is actually a removable component, and we wanted it to be really easy to remove. Uh, we did not want to require the user to have to undo some screws or things like that in order to remove it. We just wanted them to be able to pick it up and get it out of the way. Uh, however, we also needed it to be positioned in a very specific location and we did not want it to move at all when it was being used. So what we did, I'm going to make this part transparent, is we incorporated some dowel pins. And uh, these dowel pins are both press fit into this ramp part and they, so the dowel pins are, are basically permanently attached to the ramp. And they, they all lift out of this plate I've highlighted in blue uh, as, as one little subassembly set of parts. Um, the blue plate has some slightly oversized holes in it that accept these dowel pins. And so when the, uh, the user or the technician wants to remove this ramp, he or she simply lifts the ramp out of the blue plate and it, it uh, is removed very easily without any effort. They don't need to um, mess around with removing screws or fasteners or anything like that. It just slides right out. When it's in use, however, um, because uh, we have a, a very nice uh, precision fit between these dowels and the holes in the blue plate, you slide those dowels into the blue plate and uh, they they, they will not move, you know, in the plane of this blue plate. They're fixed rigidly. Uh, there's no shake or rattle. Um, it's just a very nice, smooth, tight fit in there. Uh, tight maybe is not the right word to, to use. It, it, there's a nice slip fit uh, between the dowels and the holes and the plate. So uh, anyway, this allowed us to position the ramp very precisely on this plate, but also be able to, uh, to remove it easily as well. Here's another uh, fixture, test fixture that we put together, and this one makes great use of dowel holes, uh, dowel pins in a few different ways. Um, maybe the, the first one that uh, we can talk about is uh, these dowels here. There are four of them. And same thing over on this side. There are one, two, three, and there's a fourth one behind there. There it is. And uh, those dowels allow us to slide these purple plates on and off really easily. Um, so these dowels are press fit into these, uh, what is that, um, cyan, I guess, color, teal, turquoise colored blocks. Uh, press fit in there, and, um, and then there are some oversized holes in this purple plate. And those holes allow the plate to be slid on and off very easily. Um, for, for the application. Uh, another way that we used dowel pins in this design was you can see a dowel pin head sticking up there and another one there and we wanted the uh, we wanted to be able to control the spacing between this uh, this station right here where my mouse is pointing and this other station over here where my mouse is pointing now and to do that we, we put together a very simple bar so that this bar I think was water jet cut and maybe there was some minor finishing around the edges um, and the, the bar has uh, some very precise spacing so 75 millimeters 100 millimeters 125 millimeters and those millimeter distances refer to the distance from the the corresponding hole down to this hole right here and so uh, by by placing this bar 
on to the dowel pins, which were press fit into the corresponding stations, we're able to uh, space these stations apart by very discrete and repeatable distances. Uh, so precision, um, I guess alignment or, or placement is, is how we used dowel pins in this particular assembly. If you found this content helpful, consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.